The Art Collector by Jan Wall, illustrated by Rosalind Bonnet. When Oscar was very, very, very small, Great Granny took a piece of paper. Then she took a crayon and began making lines. Some were straight, some were curving. Soon, in a minute or two, it was not a blank piece of paper. It was a chicken. It was magic. Oscar watched and clapped his hands. Can I do it too? he asked. You can try, said Great Granny. And he hand, she handed him a crayon. Oscar made many lines, short and long, on another piece of paper. The crayon slid, swirled, and danced. What he made was not a chicken. In fact, it didn't look like anything. Oscar frowned, and he crumpled it up. <clears throat> Great Granny handed him a sheet of black paper and a stick of white chalk. Try again, she said. The stick of chalk hopped all over the sheet of black paper. Oscar was about to tear it up. I still don't have a chicken, he grumbled. Great Granny looked carefully with her good eye. Then she put on her glasses and held the paper this way and that. Hmm. You have made a very fine picture of a snowstorm on a very dark night. Ma and Pa framed it and hung it for visitors to admire. They also framed Great Granny's red chicken. Some people preferred the snow scene. Many liked both. Great Granny's visit was over, but Oscar kept the chicken. He thought her drawing was better than his and he liked looking at it. Oscar liked to go with his parents to Sunday shows where artists sold pictures. They took him to the, they took him to flea markets too. Oscar found an old etching in a beat up frame. It was a, was a stream with building and a water wheel. Oscar heard the sound of water turning the wheel. The etching cost one dollar. Oscar counted out his coins and tugged at Pa. I must have it, he said. Will you lend me the rest? I'll pull out weeds and help Ma too. Oscar had bought his first picture. After taking it home and dusting it off, he saw the glass had a crack. So they took the etching of a stream and a building and a water wheel to the framers. The new frame and glass, better backing and wire to hang it cost more than the picture. Oscar had to pull many, many weeds, but he could see the picture a lot better and he liked looking at it. Slowly the years passed. Oscar grew taller. He kept collecting until pictures hung on every wall of his room. In one painting, four geese honked. In a Japanese woodcut, a bamboo lute strummed under a round moon. In one drawing, leaves whistled in the wild, wild wind. In some, just plain colors sang in circles and oblong shapes and puffs of color. And as Oscar looked, the pictures changed in front of him. Now a forest had more trees. Yesterday that lady wore a pink hat. Today it was yellow. Or was it purple? Orange? Magenta? At night, before turning off the lamp, he waved at his pictures. The room became quiet and the pictures slept too. 
And when he grew up and moved away, Oscar packed them all, wrapping each one in thick brown paper so it wouldn't break. He loved his pictures, every one. The years passed and his collection became famous. Newspapers wrote about it. Oscar's collection grew and grew and grew until a museum had to be built to hold it. Oscar kept one picture for himself and he loved looking at it. 